class children today i'll be teaching i'll be doing some more sums on problems on simultaneous linear equations in the last class we were studying about some age related sums and the number sums and in today's class we'll be discussing about sums that are related with uh, the number of days and the work done by the men and women or done by any a and b we can say it respectively and we'll also be discussing about the word problems which are dealing with questions uh, with the travel time and speed and we can say uh, the distance also so shall we begin with the first question the first question reads two men and five women can do a piece of work in four days while one man and one woman can finish it in 12 days how long would it take for one man to do the work so here the question uh, says two men and five women can do a piece of work in four days so here we know one group of people are men and the other group is women and here we have two and here we have five the total number of days which is exactly same for the men and women is four days the difference here is men and women so when we are formulating a word equation we have to see whether we can translate the equation into x and y because we are doing the sums on linear equations which has x and y so here we have got men and women and what is here the work is there in four days so let us begin by doing it like this let us assume that let one man's work or let one man do the work in x days okay he, because we have men and women so one man is doing the work in how many days in x days similarly let one woman do the work in y days then what would become then in one day one man can do the work would be equal to 1 by x similarly in one day one woman can do in how many days 1 by the work in 1 by y so the question has got two parts and we'll be formulating it basing on the assumption that we have made so coming to the first equation or the first condition according to the question for the first equation in 4 days 2 men and 5 women so for 2 men it is how many, uh, what is the number of uh, what is the work done it is 1 by x and for women it's how much it is 1 by y so both of them are completing it in 4 days so here we can say 2 men by how um, what is the work x plus how many five women and what is the work y is equal to they are completing it in how many days in four days so we are writing it as one by four and here we can just cross multiply it or else we can take one by x as u one by y as v and we can formulate the equation okay so now let us write this as the first equation and coming for the second equation so for the second equation we can formulate it exactly the way we have done the first equation so one man and one woman so one man's work will be 1 by x and one woman's will be 1 by y it is completed in how many days 1 by 12 so 12 days so we are taking it as 1 by 12 days so this is our first equation and second equation i'll be doing 
like I'll be bringing this into a linear form and we'll be finding out how much work can be done by a single map. Let us take 1 by x as u and 1 by y as v. We can either take a and b, p, q or u, v, any of the literals we can take. So substituting in the place of 1 by x, u and in the place of 1 by y, we are substituting v. We get both the equations transformed as 2u plus 5v is equal to 1 by 4. This is our first equation. When we simplify it by multiplying 4 with the side, so we get here 8u plus 5 fours are 20, v is equal to 1. Okay, so this is our first equation. Now coming to the second equation. Second equation here, 1 by x is u plus 1 by y is v is equal to 1 by 12. Now multiplying and simplifying this, 12 with u and v, we get here 12u plus 12v is equal to 1. This is our second equation. So now from equation 1 and 2, let us take the equation 1, 8u plus 20v is equal to 1, 12u plus 12v is equal to 1. Here we can solve it by any of the methods. I am solving the equation by this elimination method. So in order to eliminate either of these variables, I am eliminating the u variable. So I am multiplying the first equation with 3 and the second equation with 2. Thereby what, what do I get? A3 is a 24u plus 60v is equal to 3. 12 twos are 24u plus 24v is equal to 2. So in order to eliminate, let us change the sign minus here, minus here and minus here. So this will get eliminated. So 60 minus 24, we get here plus 36 V is equal to 1. So this gives us V is equal to 1 upon 36 and this V we are going to substitute in any of the equation. Let us substitute in the second equation and get out the get the value of u. So substituting or su let's substitute v is equal to one by thirty six in equation two. So our equation two is what twelve u plus twelve v is equal to one. So in the place of v, we are we are putting one by thirty six. So twelve u plus twelve into one upon thirty six is equal to one. Twelve three is a thirty six. That by simplifying further, three into twelve we have thirty six u plus one is equal to three. We are multiplying in this side also. It is. 3. Therefore, 36u is equal to 3 minus 1 which will give us 36u is equal to 2 and u is equal to 2 upon 36. When we cancel it, we get 1 by 18. Since we have substituted the value of u as 1 by x, the work or the man, he completes it, the work in x days. So we need to find out the x. So we, u we have substituted or we have assumed that u is equal to 1 by x which is equal to y, u's value is how much? 1 by 18. Therefore, 1 1 gets cancelled and x is equal to 18. Therefore, the number of days taken for one man to complete the work is how many days? It is 18 days. So students, I hope you understood this. So in, uh, in questions where you have men, women doing uh, the work in certain period or in certain amount, in certain days. So in that case, we are just assuming that as X days and Y days, completion of work and then we are formulating the equations. We are substituting like U and V in the place of 1 by X and 1 by Y by any of the methods. We are finding out the value of U and V. I hope uh, children you understood this. Now let me go to another question. This is a question where we are having time, speed and distance. A train covered a certain distance at a uniform speed. If the train had been 
30 km per hour faster, it would have taken 2 hours less than the scheduled time. If the train were slower by 15 km per hour, it would have taken 2 hours more than the scheduled time. Find the length of the journey. In questions where you have time, speed and distance, we will have to use this formula. Distance is equal to speed into time. Here what has been given here is the speed and the time. So, let us assume that the speed of the train, let the speed of the train be x kilometer per hour and let the time taken be y hours. So, now putting the speed here and the time taken here, what will we get? Distance is equal to x into y. The first part or the first case of the question reads, if the train had been 30 km hour faster, it, it is uh, telling about the speed of the train. If the speed would have been 30 km faster, so we have added 30 here and it would have taken 2 hours less than the scheduled time. So our time is how much? Y. So it is taking 2 hours lesser than the scheduled time. And this is equal to what? Our x, y. Okay. So now let us multiply these two. What will we get? x, y minus 2x plus 30y minus 60 is equal to x, y. When we take that x, y that sign, we will get x, y minus x, y. That we will get cancel. And so we will get 2x plus 30y is equal to 60. Dividing the whole equation with 2, we get minus x plus 15y is equal to your 30. So let us multiply it with minus sign. x minus 15y is equal to minus 30. This is our first equation. Now let's formulate the second equation using the same assumption of speed and time. Now, let's formulate the second equation. If the train were slower by 15 km per hour, which means minus 15, x minus 15, because x is the speed, we are lowering it or reducing it by 15 km per hour. It would have taken 2 hours more, means y plus 2 is equal to xy. Now multiplying both the factors, so xy plus 2x minus 15y minus 30 is equal to xy. We, can, we get 2x minus 15y is equal to 30. This is our second equation. Now this is the first equation and this is the second equation. We can uh, do any of the methods like substitution method or elimination method in order to find out the length of the journey. So let me do the elimination method for you. So this is our first equation x minus 15y is equal to minus 30 and 2x minus 15y is equal to plus 30. So let's change the sign minus here plus here and minus here. We can eliminate this. So we get here minus x is equal to minus 60. So x is equal to 60. Substituting the value of x. So substitute x is equal to 60 in equation 1. So equation 1 says x minus 15y is equal to minus 30. So x is how much? 60 minus 15y is equal to minus 30. Minus 15y is equal to minus 30 minus 60. 60. So minus 15y is equal to minus 90. Minus and minus and will get cancelled. Y is equal to 19 upon 15. When we cancel, we get y is equal to 6. Therefore, the distance or the length of the journey. So we know that the length or the distance of the journey, distance is how much? X into Y. So distance is equal to X value we have got as 60 and y's value we have got as 6 which is equal to 360 km 
kilometer meter. Therefore, when a question is asked about find the length of the journey, we are uh, we are finding out the distance of the journey, which is speed into time x into y. As we have got x as sixty and y as six, we have multiplied sixty into six, and we have got the distance, which is three hundred and sixty kilometer. I hope, children, that you have understood the question uh, and the word problem with time, uh, speed, and distance. If you have still any further doubts, you can just uh, mention it in the comment box. Thank you, uh, children. Have a nice day.